What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my Twisted Life TV. I am Poetry. This is a random ride to work video. Um, basically, it's called Because You Need to Know. And it's really just going to tell y'all what's going on with me and this channel here of mine that I love so much. Uh, let me get out of this driveway. I am on my way to work. I just got called in. I wasn't supposed to be there for three more hours. But is my clock right? I don't know what time it is. It's 8 o'clock. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to be there until 11. It's 8 o'clock now, but another person just quit. So, since I started working here last year in October, I started September 14th. Oh, somebody's dog. Please don't let me hit that dog. Um, I've had, we've had 22 people leave my office. Three by termination and 19 quit. The three by terminate the termination. Let's see, one girl. Yeah, she didn't expect to get terminated. Um, and the two guys, one of them he didn't expect it at all. The other guy just didn't give a fuck. He was like, oh, whatever. So those three people, that's the only ones. But other than that, yeah. So with this upcoming holiday season, y'all know how it was for me last year. Work was hard as fuck. I mean, physically on my mental, everything, it was hard. So, I am going to be needing to cut back on YouTube. Um, for a couple reasons, not just because of work. Actually, everything kind of ties in together. When I work like this, it is stressful on my body and my mind. Yesterday, um, I got to work at 8.10. So, if y'all watch my Travel and Talk Tuesday, y'all knew I was late. I got there at 8 10. I didn't get off work until 7 o'clock last night, y'all. 7 p.m. And there were still people at my job that had, you know, begun their daily activities before me. They came in like 6 or 7, and they were still working when I left at 7 o'clock. This year, the end, of the, the end of the year is like the hardest time of the year for us, sir. And this end of the year I, is going to be if this is a sign of it it's gonna be hard i'm already behind on my videos i was having technical issues with my uh, computers and my, my laptop i got that straightened out so i'm gonna get ready to love up tonight i'm gonna see what other videos i can get up because i want to finish out what i've started and and bitches came back on damn they came back on i haven't watched it um i'm gonna try to finish out what i started though this dad dude just pulled in front of me and then it goes slow. I can't stand people to do that. Don't pull in front of me and then go slow. So I want to finish out what I started. So I know for certain, ready to love, I'm going to finish that out. I'm going to try to finish out ambitions. Um, I'm not sure if I'm coming back for the rest of power or not. I know that's not to January, but this I don't like the show, y'all. I think y'all just like me talking about the show. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe I'll just go ahead and finish out those last five episodes just to wrap up the freaking season. Um, The Walking Dead, I'm so far behind. I may not catch up. I may not catch up at all. I may not catch up on This Is Us. Those two seasons, two episodes, two shows were not really pulling me this season right now. Anyway, we see, I got caught by the train. So, um, I don't know. How is getting good? I may have to just do one video for the end of the of the season all together, and, and go with that. I think that's how it's gonna be. Black Lightning, uh, they're back. Damn it! So I'm thinking Black Lightning, Ready to Love, because I know I'm gonna be watching Black Lightning and Ambitions. It'll probably be the three shows that I will keep up with through the end of the year, hopefully. Um. The Walking Dead because I'm three weeks behind on actually watching it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch those up. Um, this is us. I think I'm three weeks behind on watching it. I don't think I'm gonna be able to catch that up. And I think that's it. Okay, so like I said, I think I'm gonna watch them. I'm gonna catch up on them, but I may end up doing just like one video for like you know the previous episodes all together, something like that. That's pretty much how it's gonna go around. Um, so with this work schedule, like I said, 
It's stressful as hell on my body. Y'all know I don't like to take medicine. Y'all know it. I damn sure don't like taking no fucking pain pills. Trying to manage my pain. But I was in such pain yesterday when I got off work. Such pain that I had to take ibuprofen just to try to keep my body where I could sleep and get some rest. I laid down last night. Uh probably about 7 30 and I think I was up off and on throughout the night. But for the most part I was in the bed by set not 7 30, um 9 30. Because I didn't get home to eight something. It was 9 30 when I got when I went to bed. And I think I was up off and on for maybe like a couple hours before the end. And then I went to sleep. I was I'm in, I was in pain. I was in pain. So I didn't update y'all yesterday about my my medical history. I told y'all I was having pains in my legs. And um, they was testing me for blood clots. Is what basically what they was testing me for. Um, actually, she wasn't gonna test me for blood clots. She didn't think nothing was wrong with me. She think it was all in my damn mind. That's basically what she was telling me. When she when she tells me, I ain't never heard nobody say this before. I'm quite sure that people them had my symptoms before, and so she decided to test me for a few things, and it tested me for blood clots. My protein levels came back high. Um, and what else came back high? My protein levels came back high. My glucose came back high. My blood pressure came back high. So I have been diagnosed now with diabetes. I don't take that shit. I know I can't take it lightly because I know it's like in my family. So it's something I need to really watch out for. But my daily tests, I do the stick tests. Those tests always come out normal. But my average overall A1C levels has went from a 6.1, which was pre-diabetic, to now 6.8, which is diabetic. So, they want me to take metamorphin. I'm just going to work on, but but they keep telling me that I can control it with weight. I'm just going to work on getting this weight off of me. Um, but as far as the pains in my legs, I know we talked about potassium. We talked about, what else do we think it was? Okay, the doctor was talking about blood clots, possibly. The the test, the blood test she ran as far as like why I'm having pains in my legs, she wants to retest me again. And because the numbers weren't looking good as far as what she said. I don't remember exactly what they were testing. It was like my AST and my ALT or something like that. Um so it basically I'm not getting a good amount of blood circulation through my legs massage could help but it looks like I may be on the early stages of chronic fatigue and muscle fatigue and they don't have anything to reverse it other than you know trying to get some rest but I can't get too much rest because of the muscle fatigue but the fact that I, um, I can't really be too mobile because of the chronic fatigue both of those two things kind of like work against each other because I need to stay mobile to to try to um, combat the muscle fatigue but because I have the chronic fatigue I'm tired all the time so it doesn't make it conducive for me that well, it doesn't make that conducive but it doesn't make it um, where I'm able to move as much as I want to and it's all due to my work habits my eating habits and YouTube. I'm a throw in YouTube. Um, yeah, I know I love watching TV. I do. But when I was back home in St. Louis, I wasn't working the hours that I'm working. So my body wasn't as stressed and, and fatigued as it is working here. So, like, I would get off by 12, 30, 1 o'clock back at the crib, you know what I'm saying, back in St. Louis. And I still had, you know, time in my day to do things for me, to get out, go to the park, to um, exercise, and, you know, and still do YouTube. I had a lot, all that time available back in St. Louis. Here, one with my hours are not ever. But turn the fucking corner. God damn. Here, 
year. Well, my hours are never the fucking same. I don't even know when the fuck I'm going to work half the damn time. And then when I'm there, I'm going and expecting to do one thing, and then they switch it up into something else. Like yesterday, 7 o'clock p.m., and then I had help. 7 o'clock p.m., and I had help from Mary. Um, thank God Mary helped me because they wanted Mary to go help somebody else. And she was like, no, I'm going to help her. Um, and he was like, okay, fine. It's a curry patty. My breakfast was morning. Um, so, basically, when I watch a recap of a TV show, I like to watch for enjoyment. And because I'm doing a lot of recaps and everything, and I want to be as detailed and as precise as possible, I started taking notes. Um, that way, y'all ain't got to correct me as much in the comment section. I'm going to start taking notes. But when I do it this way, it takes me anywhere in two to three hours to watch a 40-minute program. And then I got to turn around and record the video. So I'm spending on average two to four hours a day on one TV program. And then I got to come back to y'all and talk to y'all in the comment section. That's my favorite part of doing the doggone recaps is come back and talk to people. You know, about stuff we didn't agree with, stuff we did agree with, you know. The shock moments, the wild factors, you know, things like that. I want to do that. I want to engage with everybody. And I want to continue to do that. So I don't, I'm not going to count that part out at all. But, because I'm spending so much time watching the program and then, like, recording two to four hours per, per show, I'm sitting on my ass. I'm sitting on my ass. Which is part of the muscle fatigue. Um, like when I talked to my doctor, we talked about me working and being on my feet all the time. And then when I come home, what I'm doing in the day, I'm usually sitting down or laying down or got my foot propped up in my recliner. Do y'all just be seeing this? Listen, look at the cars behind me and see how they jerk. And you notice how fast they're coming up on the back of me when I'm stopped. When I almost run into the back of me, you silly bastards. Um. So, yeah, I'm sitting on my motherfucking ass all the damn time. And, uh, I dropped some food. Sitting on my ass all the damn time. And it's causing my muscles to be fatigued. It's almost like atrophy. And then with me now being diagnosed with um, diabetes, neuropathy starts to come into play so at least three of my tests I need to go back and retest and um me and Love Fuller oh my goodness she changed her channel name I, I still remember Fit to Love with Love Fuller but it's Love Fuller Live Fuller I think it's what it's called now her new channel we're supposed to be losing 20 pounds by the end of this year we got six weeks left the first week I gained and so, the only thing I've done so far is lost what I've gained. But I need to get moving, moving again to start losing weight. And I'm really going to have to focus on nutrition to hit that 20-pound mark because of the pain that I'm carrying in my body. I can't move like I want to. I mean, it's not that it, it's not mental. I physically, physically can't move like I want to. Ugh. It's stressing me. So, I don't know if I said it yet. I'm cutting back on YouTube. At least for a couple months. To get, oh, doing this stressful time at work. Because I'm not, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up with videos at all. Which, as you saw from last year, I had to drop off so many programs that I couldn't keep up with them. When January rolled around, I was so behind. And... I don't even know what I got on the menu as far as TV shows that were supposed to be coming out in January. I don't think that I'm going to pick them up. I may not go back to a regularly scheduled program until like the spring. You know, Insecure is supposed to come back. Real Housewives of Potomac is supposed to come back. 
I've been bringing PNTV back forever. Been bringing the lives back forever. I ain't did none of them. But I'm spending too much time sitting on my ass. It's too much time. So, like, at this point, once I get off work, depending on how long my work day gonna be, I need to get moving. Because I'm having trouble getting up moving in the morning. I hate working out in the evenings. I hate working out in the afternoon. I prefer to work out in the morning. Be because, but because of me being at rest during the night, when I wake up in the morning, that's the time of day that I am the least physically able to move around. It's a struggle for me to get up in the morning. But once I get going, I'm moving. Like now, once I get going. But when I get out this car, like this is a 30 to 40 minute ride to work. When I get out the car at work, I'm struggling to get out the car. I'm already stiff in the back up. But it's not as bad as when I first get up in the morning and get out the bed. So, now I'm going to have to, when I get off work, no matter what time of day it is, before I come home and sit my ass down and sit still, I need to get moving. I need to go find me a walking trail or a park. Or I need to go home and hop my ass on the damn treadmill, depending on how the weather is outside, and move. And if I'm doing that, I'm not sitting still watching TV. And watching uh, and recording videos. Because I want to do at least 30 to 45 minutes a day. I don't care if it's a slow walk. Y'all know I used to run half marathons. I wasn't that good at them. But I would run them. I was a sprinter though. So I was a damn good sprinter. I used to run for the Marine Corps track team. I used to run for my high school track team. I was fast. But like I normally would walk. When I get on my treadmill. My average walking speed on my treadmill was 3 to 3.5 miles per hour. That was walking. I didn't feel like I had to run until after I hit 3.6 miles an hour. When I walked the other day, my warm-up is usually 2 miles an hour. When I walked the other day, at 2.1 miles an hour was too fucking fast for me. There's no way I should be that... What's the word I'm looking for? My endurance should be that low. That I can't go over two miles an hour. That was my warm-up speed. And at 2.1, I was breathing heavy. My chest was hurting. I need to get my shit back together. So, I'm just coming to tell y'all. Yeah, this is something I say I think y'all need to know. Or why I'm finna disappear on YouTube as much as I am. Like I said, for right now, I'm still going to give you ready to love. I'm going to give you all that tonight because I got my computer fixed. I fixed it all. I'm going to give you all ready to love. It may come re real fucking late tonight. Um, I want to catch up on Black Lightning. And I'm going to take a look at whether or not I'm going to catch up on The Walking Dead and on This Is Us. There's no fucking guarantees on that. Um... And I don't even, like I say, I'm not sure if I'm going to come back for power in January. It's a good possibility, but I know January is still part of this 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 um, season, this heavy season at work. And then when power comes back on, I'm going to be on vacay with Keena for her birthday. So I'm going to miss the first episode coming back anyway, and I don't want to come back trying to rush. And when I come back in January... I'm going to set a whole new stage for what the fuck I'm going to do on this channel. Hopefully. I think I'm going to have it all, have to have it all figured out. Um, and Travel and Talk Tuesday. Y'all going to get Travel and Talk Tuesday. There's some shit I could do. Especially once I get my new phone. I had to. They're going to have to send me a new phone. Travel and Talk Tuesday is something I could do. Because I don't record. Um, don't do any type of editing. I just do it straight from the phone. And go from there. Um... This chicken curry is good. And, uh, that's it. So let me upload this so y'all can get this. Y'all can know what's going on with me. I gotta get my health back together. I gotta get my health back together. I heard it looking like I'm 30, feeling like I'm 60. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. 70. Feeling like I'm 70. That's how I feel. But I need to get this shit back together. Um, but I'm going to get off here so this video can load. Y'all can have it this morning. 
and I will talk to y'all again soon. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for listening. Thank y'all for always subscribing. And I know y'all finna say words of encouragement. I know y'all all be good. Y'all my people. Love y'all dearly. Peace.